There we are. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Very good as well. Thank you for being here, Althea, with us. I think we just uh, wait a moment until more people can uh, can check in with us until we start the, the live. And then we'll start. Okay. Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Hello, everybody. I see a lot of people joining us. Very nice. I see Andrea. Uh, Hi, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I saw Steph earlier on as well, and Dinant joining. Very cool, guys. Welcome. Hey, man. Great that you're here. All right. Do you like to wait a bit longer to start, Althea, or do you? Oh, yeah. to... I'm I'm okay. Um, either way, I'm sure you'll have the recording available on your channel. Exactly, it will all be uh, on the channel for people to look back later, and uh, no problems there. Mm -hmm. All right. So welcome to the to the live, everybody, and uh, very happy that you are here with us, Althea. And uh, well, you have an incredible page, Light Coast by Ala, if I pronounce pronounce it well. Perfect. Amazing stuff on your page. And I would love to yeah, talk a little bit with you about what you do uh, and also what we do at Men's Weekend, of course. Um, yeah, but let's start with you. Maybe you can introduce yourself to the, to the people that are watching at the moment. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm a light language channeler. So what I do is I channel energy, vibration, frequencies. Um, I bring them through and then I anchor them in third dimensional density construct. I anchor them in our reality. I assist um, with raising the vibration on a planetary collective level. Um, and just in different areas and aspects, I do energy clearings. I help, um, you know, also with shielding, grounding, anchoring balancing um, I try to be as versatile as possible when it comes to light language so um, I channel light language that is spoken through tones vibrations frequencies um, written expressed in different ways um, it's really just the way I understand what light language is it's the new healing technology that is coming through and available at this moment in time for humanity in order to assist us in this awakening this ascension in this journey of progression um, on both an individual and collective level so that's kind of like what i do i do mentoring and coaching as well i, I work with both men and women um and it's very interesting that today we're gonna speak a bit about the masculine and feminine because i've seen such a beautiful change in the masculine community in the past few years since I've been working. Um, about four years ago, I would say that 90% of my client was female. Now it's actually half and half. So the masculine has really, really, really been stepping up um, in the past few years, thanks to people like you as well. Wow. That's a very good sign indeed. Well, if it was 90 and 50 now, that's a huge change there. And uh, yeah, that's what we uh, that's what we do ourselves as well. But it's great to work with uh, the stuff that you do is very amazing. I've seen your page also, and also the uh, energy cleansings that you do, the light work that you do is uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible actually. And uh, I'd advise a lot of people also to to follow your page and to just check out what you're all about because it's uh, it's great. And the fact that you that you just said like okay, there's more and more men also joining. Uh, for me, that gives that gives me a good, very good feeling actually, because uh, yeah, there are, that's what we see as well. More and more men are actually ready to uh, to yeah go on a healing path themselves and do inner work and uh, yeah go find help for for certain problems as well. And uh, yeah, that's what we are about uh, at Men's Weekend. We host retreats for men in Europe, and uh, we uh, yeah we help men connect back with their essence and their. Uh, yeah, to empower who they uh, really are and uh, not the image that has been created over the years due, due to conditioning uh, in, 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 in terms of our childhood or external things from happening, but yeah, to really be, uh, to really be there, they, yeah, grow into their real essence, actually. Um, okay, so to do a small grounding, what we normally do with the guys at the retreats or in the circles that we do online as well, we do a small breathing and then we just share how we feel at the moment. 
and uh, yeah, so we can close our eyes. People can join us as well from wherever they're watching. So you close your eyes. You breathe in very deeply and slowly through your nose. And exhale very long and even more slowly through the mouth. And we do that 10 times, so the second time. May go even deeper. Try to relax your shoulders and everything. So your face, your eyebrows, your neck. And really be in this moment with your mind and your body, observing everything. Last three. Relaxing everything, all the shoulder, the tension in our necks and coming back to the room slowly. Hi. <laughs> Mm, thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, breathing is very powerful. It can literally, it's one of the most powerful tools that we can access because wherever you are, doesn't matter if you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious or stressed, just doing a little bit of breath, like my whole body and system. Yes. I, back, in, back in, I did a little bit before we started, but there's always a bit of excitement, you know, when you do a live and yeah. feeling the vibration and frequency of all the people around. And that really brought me back. I actually started clearing. <laughs> As yeah. I, was, I started clearing a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cool. But thank you so much for that. Yeah, it was really wonderful. You're welcome. Yeah, I experienced also uh, tension before the live and uh, don't do it every day. I think you're... Uh, you are doing a lot of videos and a lot of lives. We are more for the posts and everything. I don't want to compare, obviously, but uh, yeah, I had some tension as well and thoughts going through my mind. Um, but it's also very good to observe them and everything may be present and to share it as well, because I've, I believe strongly that when we share, we actually shift energy as well. We don't have to hold everything in our bodies. And but we, when we share, we actually open things up. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where the social media really can be used to your advantage. Everything is a tool in our reality and everything can be used, you know, either to our advantage or can be, you know, a detriment to us. And when we get into that mindset, this is a message that's also been coming to me a lot, even in the past like few years, it's like, sometimes I get put through these intense experiences, either in the astral or with clients. And then I'm just like, why guys, you know, why am I, you know, and then they're like, because you need to share it. You have a platform, you need to share it. People need to see, they need to understand, they need to know that they're not alone as well. Yeah. And this is why for me, like, yeah, as you said, I do a lot of lives. I'm always as much myself as possible. Like I really try to be as honest and open as possible. Um, sometimes, you know, things don't go how you plan them and it's fine. Sometimes you don't plan them and they go in a way that's, you know, um, even better. I think it comes down to being in a space of trust um, of, you know, the process and the platform and the people and what I've seen, like the more my page has been growing and the more people have been coming through, the community is so, so beautiful and people are so in compassion and understanding and everyone really kind of like, um, lifts each other up. I don't know if you are also maybe seeing that with your community and your page as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, and what, what happens actually, and that's also what we see in the retreats that we do. When, the, when the, one person starts to share deep, deep stuff, then also other people feel uh, safe and they feel. So it's all about showing vulnerability as well and uh, ourselves as well. I believe strongly in that. And yeah, it, it, one, one person sharing leads to another person sharing and opens doors for also other people in their own networks again. Uh, to share that is very a very beautiful thing of of this um, of this journey actually in life that uh, yeah we we help people to heal they heal themselves but but eventually they also in their own network they 
uh, st by just starting to opening up, by sharing their feelings and by sharing their uh, their state of mind and body and everything there is, um, and not judging it anymore, uh, they also open the doors for the people in their own network. And that for me is also very, very beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that leading by example, just doing it and then other people also doing it as well. And this is something interesting that I've also noticed with regards to the masculine and feminine energies. So this is how I see it and how I understand it, how it's working now through um, the ascension and the awakening. Obviously, we ideally all want to be balanced between both of our energies within us. So for me, I'm actually more in my masculine. So I need to actively work to um, balance my feminine through it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually into that but the way i've seen it work especially in divine unions but also just in general is the female is very open she channels she receives the information she struggles with the grounding with the anchoring so that's where the masculine comes in the masculine will hold will ground will anchor but the masculine struggles with the emotion with the heart with the opening with the expression so that's that's the role of the female and the female comes in and assists with the opening and pulling through that um so it's very beautiful to see how it works on a collective level but also in unions um and then understanding and self-assessing yourself and then saying okay like i need to work more on this or i need to work more on that um but also knowing that the divine counterpart can also assist with balancing that aspect of you yeah that is a very very cool topic actually and i i strongly believe that um yeah one of the two also in a relationship or just by yourself it is the most divine thing is to be in union with yourself and thus also in union with, uh, yeah, with your, either your twin flame, your soulmate or whomever it is in your life that you're, that you're sharing moments with. Um, but healing yourself and being in balance with yourself is, is, is the goal, not to heal uh, within the, or the relationship or the other one, but, uh, but ourselves indeed. But I do believe that one of the two, uh, whether it's friendships or relationships, one of the two, the masculine or the feminine, feminine starts the, the healing journey and the other person, uh, yeah, well, he can also, or she can also uh, drift away from the healing journey or be, that is too impressive or not time yet, but it can also be very much like when that person opens up, usually in my opinion, it is also that the other person uh, is able to heal themselves, the, the masculine and the feminine together. Mm -hmm. And I also think it's, I also believe it's, it's beautiful that we have, we have everything in ourselves. Like you said, I have, at the moment, I have the masculine very much. And uh, yeah, so everything is present inside ourselves already, the, both the masculine and the, and the feminine. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I wanted to, wanted to ask you, how does, because you said like, okay, the masculine is very present at the moment. And uh, yeah, what do you mean by that? Um, you mean in, in the individual or on a collective level? No, you say I have a lot of masculine energy at oh, the moment, Oh, for me, right? myself. Yeah, for you, yourself. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, um, for me, being in my masculine means, you know, I'm a single parent, so I'm the only one taking care of my child. So it's me working, um, multitasking, doing, you know, all the things, being um, kind of like efficient and structured and anchored and grounded. That's how I see the, um, the, the more of the, like the masculine energy. And then um, sometimes be, I'm, I am in a divine union. So it's very nice for me to allow for him to be that. And then for me to just take a step back and just, you know, be and be in my feminine and be in my present and be in my essence. But because of how my life is right now, I've always been more in my masculine and um, I've always been very like independent um, and quite structured and grounded. I mean, yeah, but but um, I had to work on balancing the two and balancing the both. And I think a lot of people right now, as you were saying, also like in relationships, um, what happens is they we because of societal construct we um get programmed to believe that we're not enough um and that we're not good enough and we need i don't know the car the job the relationship to be good enough so that leaves a lack and a hole within us and then people try to fill it with the relationship and that's when unhealthy attachment comes in and that's when you know you can say oh one maybe starts the healing journey and the other one doesn't and then people just kind of separate its frequency you know if you're raising your vibration and the other person isn't then you know, you're just going to go separate ways. What we mean when we speak about a divine union is people, you don't have to be like 
fully healed. No one's fully healed. It doesn't really end, you know, you're living. So you're always going through cycles. But <laughs> yeah. there needs to be balance between the two sides in each side so that when the union happens, it's not unified through trauma, but through, you know, wanting to better each other. And then you kind of like work on both your things together. But either one is very solid and grounded in the foundation um, within the self. So I think that's an important thing for people to understand because a lot of the time people are like, oh, but why am I attracting? Actually, it's funny that I'm speaking about this because I'm going to post a reel today about um, empaths yeah. and not because it's quite a big topic in the community because a lot of us are open. Um, we're in compassion, we're in empathy and we want to help, but we don't understand that to an extent you're attracting from your trauma. So you're not going to be able to be in a divine balanced union until you do the work on yourself and perhaps the other part as well. Yes, that's, that's uh, exactly how I see it as well. It's, uh... It's first yourself and then you, you you might also work on it through, throughout the relationship and everything if you're both ready to work and accept that, uh, well, and, and as you said, it is not like uh, there is a, an end goal, it's a continuous progress. progress. And, and um, yeah, I mean, you, you can solve certain things and you can heal uh, certain parts in yourself, definitely. Uh, but it is, it is also quite crazy that whenever you solved one thing, you might, yeah, something new might just pop up that you haven't even realized that was present inside your body. And uh, yeah, so that's the, the healing journey as well. And, and how did you, how did you, uh, how did you come to this mission or how did this purpose come to you? So I've always had psychic intuition since I was a young child. Like I would always, you know, like have prophetic dreaming or see shadows and see things and whatnot. I anchored in about nine years ago i started with reiki so i got i did my reiki training i got my reiki achievements and whatnot and then i didn't practice for a while and i still carried life with my normal job um and then i would say i had two very intense experiences in 2018 i had like a physical encounter with you know et beings which was very like intense for me and that i was like well okay like if this is happening then i actually probably need to go a little bit deeper and see you know what is what is behind it and then i had um a traumatic experience also in 2017 as well um, so I had very intense experiences that kind of like slowly shifted my perception. And then when the lockdown happened, um, I lost everything. Like I lost my job. I was in an abusive relationship. My partner at the time actually tried to murder me when I was pregnant. So I had to let go of that. I let go of that. I let go of my job. I had, I was in debt. So I had like no money. So this just goes to say I released control of everything. I had no control over everything, over my body, my finances, my life, my job, nothing. And then from that, I had to rebuild over it. Um, and I decided, I was already doing energy healing. I decided to move it all online. Um, I started channeling light language in 2018. I only started doing it publicly in 2019. And at the time, no one was really doing it. So I have been doing this for quite long. And then I guess slowly from there, just like trusting, trusting myself, staying in my truth and whatnot, it all sort of like kind of expanded. Um, yeah, I didn't even take that long. I think in about a year or so, I was already fully booked. So it was uh, something that had been, I guess, a long time coming. Um, and that, yeah, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, and yeah, what about your, your journey? How did you start cool. uh, this thing? Um, yeah, I, I also had, uh, with, with certain energies and everything, I could also have, uh, yeah, certain colors I would see when I was young already. And, uh, but I didn't do a lot with it uh, until uh, just recently because I was very much into like uh, atheism and okay, I don't believe in anything and everything is, uh, well, I thought I was, I, I, that was me. Uh, until I discovered a few years ago when, uh, yeah, when uh, getting coached actually myself that I, uh, yeah, that I have a certain power and an energy inside myself and that all the people and all the animals and nature and everything has energy and power and, and also the sky, everything there is actually. And I started to connect with that um, whilst getting coached and also whilst being on a retreat myself. Um, so um, getting uh, help 
to heal myself. And it was at that moment that I realized that uh, we are all one and uh, you are me, I am you. We are all uh, yeah, in unity actually with everything. And once I start realizing that, I also realized that uh, there is no shame. There is no uh, need of judgment, uh, self-judgment or judgment of others. Or, and that's how it started for me. And yeah, now uh, at the moment, we're, like I said, we're hosting uh, men's retreats and uh, we also include plant medicine in the retreats. And it is all just to, just to get to that point of realizing that we are, uh, we are one, everybody and everything is one and, and part of the same uh, stardust, uh, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think being in that space of non-attachment, being in that space of objective observation, being in that anchored and grounded space within the heart center really helps whenever we need to make any decision. Like the most important thing is going back to your heart center. What feels in alignment? What feels right? What direction do you want to go? Because a lot of people are struggling at this moment in time because the energies are intense. We recently just had like a lunar eclipse and um, we had a portal on for opening um, on Friday. So there's been a lot that's that's been coming up. And this is where, um, you know, us, people like me, you, but even the people who are here watching, if you're here and you're watching, it means, yeah. you know, you already have an understanding of how things work. And it's important to also know, yeah, as we heal our others, we heal ourselves and so on. We all connected. So with me, I've, I've worked on thousands of clients and there isn't one person that I can say, oh, like I learned nothing. It wasn't you. every single piece and part of any kind of healing that I've done, even through, um, you know, the social media has assisted me as well in some way. So it's just understanding that unity that we all have. Yeah. Yeah. That is, uh, it's all about that for me. Likewise. Yeah. All right. Hey, and um, you, you do talk a certain language in your videos. I was quite uh, interested about, yeah, what is the language? You call it light language, I believe. Yeah, yeah basically light language is a galactically channeled language. It's a cosmic language. So if you imagine like English being the language of the world, um, light language would kind of be the language of the universe. There's different dialects, different ways. It's a direct expression of the soul. So it can come through in many different ways, written, spoken, sung, um, you know, through, through geometry um, and things like that. And the way that it works is it bypasses the conscious mind. So it works directly on the energy field, on the DNA structure, on the etheric body. So even if you're listening to it, but you don't understand what not that's that's okay a lot of channelers nowadays um do come through with with light language there's a lot of people who are channeling and coming through with light language and the more you practice and the more you do it the the better you get at it to an extent the more you can bring through an understanding however it cannot be translated verbatim it's not a earth language to be called like it's it's a just a different structure completely so um it's to listen with your heart and not with your mind because it bypasses the consciousness can you hear me can you hear me am i back what it is okay. do you hear me can you hear me, me well now? Yeah, I do hear you. I don't know what okay, it was, yeah, but, it was but there was just a blackout. You're back. Yeah. Okay. Technology, technology okay. has been glitched a lot in the past few days. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but sorry, yeah. I did catch the part where you said, okay, um, it, it is a universal language. It comes in many, many forms and it has different uh, tones, shapes. Uh, it can actually, but it, it by, bypasses the, the actual conscious mind, you said. Yeah, it works directly on the energy field, the etheric structure and DNA. Um, so when you listen to live language, it's important to listen with your heart and not your mind and just allow it. And even if you're not necessarily feeling anything, it's still going to work. The codes are intelligent. Um, they go where they're needed. Sometimes you integrate them when you're sleeping. Sometimes you'll integrate them at the moment. For ones, the ones who are here who have seen my work obviously know how I work for the people who um, are not aware of 
of how I work. I will be doing a transmission just now so that you guys can kind of get a feel for it. It is a literally the new technology that's coming through to assist in healing the collective. That's what it is. That's how you can kind of like wrap your mind around to interpret it. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, we're going to do one in, in a moment, right? Yes, I'm going to open channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. <laughs> very, very interested to see that. Hey, and um, do you do this uh, by yourself, to yourself as well during the day? Or how, how do you, how do you uh, use yeah, I clear, Yeah, I clear my system every morning. I work on a lot of people. Some days I'm working on 10 different people, like individually. So every morning I wake up and I'll clear my system. Yeah. Yeah, I have wow. to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can imagine working with that much different energies as well around. It's definitely yeah, and I work a lot on grounding as well. Like, um, it's very important. This is also why my hair is red because it keeps me grounded. It keeps me anchored because I'm working up here all day, every day that yeah. I really need to focus and emphasize. That's why I'm also more in my masculine because I need to focus and emphasize on staying embodied, um, which is very, very important. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, we, we, we might be more uh, grounded naturally, uh, the masculine. And uh, yeah, we, at, at the events, for example, we do a lot of like these breathings or meditations to ground and to really connect with uh, nature. Um, one, of the, one of the important things at, at our uh, events or in our work is also that we, uh, yeah, we're very uh, focused on at living at the moment or in the moment. So not in the past. Let go of the past. Of course, there's things to heal, but we also have a, a yeah a, a decision or a, a choice actually to be in the now. And uh, yeah, the grounding helps very much with that. The breathing helps a lot with that as well. And to also um, yeah, let go of the past and not think about hey, I need something in the future to make me happy in the now. But I uh, yeah to really appreciate the now and to see the small things is what we what we also do a lot in the grounding is super important for that as well yeah. yeah yeah it's also one of the main things that i also speak about um with my clients because being present in the now really allows you again to stay in the space of non-attachment and see all the different possible timelines and then make the choice that will be for your highest alignment if you're too busy worrying about the past or the future you're going to miss what's in front of you and then you're not necessarily going to walk down the direction that is for your highest alignment i like to say that there's no wrongs in life there's only lessons so um something happens it's not what you wanted okay it's a lesson next time you're not going to do it again um yeah. that's a like that's just a way that I like to see things and that, yeah, I help stay um, and put everything in perspective, I guess. I think that's a beautiful thing that you say. And it, 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 I strongly believe in that as well, that it is about how we talk to ourselves. Like we can have a little bit of a downer or something happening that is not, uh, yeah, that is not very nice in essence, but it is really about how we deal with it ourselves. And like, like you said, if I tell myself, hey, this happened and next time I'm going to handle it differently or hey, it's not, maybe not that bad. I, the energy is so much different as if we were to say, hey, shit, you know, this is a terrible thing and I did terrible. And yeah, it's, a, it's very much the way we talk to ourselves and that's what we work a lot with as well. So how uh, am I actually soft with myself or uh, am I down talking myself? It's a very important uh, topic as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the guilt is what keeps you trapped in the uh, perpetuating addictive pattern or whatever it is this is an example that yeah. i always like to give like let's say you want to stop smoking um and you smoke and then you stop and then you don't smoke the whole day and then the evening you smoke and you can either like you know a lot of people they'll have oh i smoked one oh i'm terrible i feel so bad let me smoke 20. you know what yeah. i mean that's yeah. a lot of people do. <laughs> but instead of doing that smoke yeah. one thank it, enjoy it, let it go, and then don't do it again. That's yeah. how you reprogram yourself um, through your triggers or your addictions or whatever it is. It's really just about being in compassion towards yourself and towards action and allowing it and seeing it for what it is, thanking it, gratitude, and then letting it go. Yes, yes, it's very much like that. So whenever you do it, then do it out of love and do it and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, and um, do you have any any uh, events coming up or things that you are going to do in the near future? Yeah, sure. So I'm actually going to be in Italy um, for a little bit from next week. I will be in Milan. I'm hosting some workshops there. 
Um, you guys can check my link in my bio or DM me. We have a few spaces left for the 3rd of December workshop. Um, so I'll be doing that. And then with regards to online stuff, um, I'm hosting a online workshop on the 12th of December, which is the 12th 12th for the portal opening, where I will be channeling, I will be giving tips and tools and assisting people navigating. We will be releasing and letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore in order to walk into the new year fresh, like rebirthing and things like that. I have a lot of workshops up on my um, website as well. I've got one on releasing attachments, psychic attacks. I have one on how to start and master your own spiritual business, how to anchor into the vibration and frequency of abundance. Um, and then I also take people through programs. I take them through six week or six month program where it's one -on one work with me in depth. I do Akashic reading, timeline clearing, um, timeline collapsing as well. So if you need assistance with like patterns and karmic ties and things from past lives um i can assist with that and then i do like language and galactic work um as well and i offer also um uh, channeled art pieces so that is also something that you can get and then i also offer collective healings um once a month all those the recordings are up on my website so yeah i think that's kind of it it's a lot <laughs> very very cool yeah you're you're busy <laughs> that's amazing yeah really <laughs> And what about you? Do you have events coming up as well? Yes. Yeah. Well, we have an event actually in December. It's fully booked. It's in uh, in uh, Belgium, and uh, it's a uh, it's a, or in the south of the Netherlands. Actually, it's a uh, magic truffle retreat. So we also do plant medicine uh, retreats, where there, where we guide people through the whole process of going into the subconsciousness or the unconsciousness, and yeah, to also let go of all the all the tasks running through our heads and. Um, yeah, and actually the mind limiting us with uh, with beliefs that uh, we have uh, that we have made throughout our childhood, and we focus on that. We do a lot of uh, yeah cold therapy, so ice bath, uh, Wim Hof wow. breathing, um, and a lot of grounding, sharing because sharing is very important in the in, in the masculine, in the feminine as well. But feminine tend to share easier, and in the masculine uh, retreats, we actually start to. Uh, opening up and share uh, with everything there is without judgment towards each other and ourselves. Well, that is the goal of the weekends. And uh, we have, uh, we have uh, some places available to our retreat in February. It's in the south of the Netherlands as well. And um, I think four or five places available. And in January, we're going to host in the Netherlands as well. Uh, because it is because it is legal there, we're going to host uh, some uh, plant medicine retreats, uh, one day retreats as well. And we're going to launch that next week on our page. So for people, uh, they can uh, they can just check the page. And uh, and we do coaching one-on-one -on -one with, uh, with men, actually. And um, that's about it. Sounds wonderful. Okay, so if you guys are ready, I'm just going to pull through some codes. I'll do a little bit of balancing for the masculine and feminine side. That's what's been coming through for me to do to assist. So you can just close your eyes and anchor into your body. Find a comfortable breathing rhythm. With every inhale, you breathe in light. With every exhale, you release all that no longer serves you. And as you call on your higher selves, your spirit guides, our collective, and anyone else who wishes to be present for the greatest and highest good, you're welcome in this space. Remember to listen with your heart and not your mind. Allow for the codes to come in, be integrated into your system for your highest alignment. Tiata create co carea tre catero a tirai ma sena taka tiata re caro triete aia tieto rua i shemara tieta kira takiero tu cura tiera sera tiera takiera taraie taraie teio tua e taka naete co cateca e co cariet rassie sroa i shena nien marai shena tai shera takiera takra. Okay, these codes are going to assist with taking back to the power, opening, opening. Opening, 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 opening systems, opening, opening, anchoring, 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 divine rays, calling in, calling in, more light, more light, more light, anchoring, 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 letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. Naya tero kukare atria ishe nataka ishme tara ishe rataka. Tia ta krakt neta reo to kukak ero atria ishe nare ayat mie to kua ishe nataka. Tia ta kria trea 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 trea. Balancing, 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 achini, achini, achini. 
attuning, attuning, systems, clearing, releasing, 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 releasing. I'm releasing the sacral. Some of you have been struggling with ego blockages. Nine, 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 Letting go, letting go, letting go. Letting go, fear, judgment, resentment, guilt. Letting go, letting go, letting go. Clearing, releasing, 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 releasing. Releasing, 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 releasing. Some of you might feel nausea, you might feel pressure in your stomach and area. Or you might feel released from your back. Opening, 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 opening. I'm doing a little bit of work on the heart now. Opening, 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 opening in. Divine rays, divine rays, divine rays, divine rays, divine rays, green rays, anchor, rainbow rays into heart, opening, 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 clearing, clearing, releasing, 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 circulation, nervous system, anchoring, anchoring, more light, more light, more light, more rays, more rays, more rays, coming in, coming in, pushing through, pushing through, pushing out, 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 out. All that no longer serves you. We let go, let go, let go, let go, let go of judgment. Releasing, 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 releasing. Tuning, 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 tuning. Tuning systems. Tiate koko koko kora tiate ak ok amera yete oro ishena taka. Tiate ra yeto ok ak era ishera shera tre yo 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 from the hands, you might feel your hands tingle, your heat up. Karatia tuk aye shena taka. Taya kiera mayo tuku aye shena ta. Kriye ta ra triya te ra iero tuku ra aye shena ta. Opening, opening. Opening, opening to more light, more rays, codes of knowledge coming in, anchoring, 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 anchoring knowledge of self, knowledge of self, opening, 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 releasing old structures. Anchoring into softness, karatira ishira into love, compassion, tara ishira taka. Ndayo toku akie kakara tri kakua ishina na naya tie nti naya tie toro kura tri kai kiero ishina taka. Ntea 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 mara tri ate o ishita kai ishina taka. With gratitude and blessings, toku kura ish remember who we are, remember where we. Came from why we here, Tara Ishi, Kokokura Ishi, Shishi, 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 to heal, help, assist, unify, connect, 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 connecting through the heart, Kara Ichi, Roishi, Nata, Ishi, Nataka, Ndai Kiarataka, Kokua Ishi, Nataka, Ishi, Masero, Toro, Ishi, Rataka. Okay. Anchor back into your body. Thank you guys. How are you feeling? How did you feel? Thank you. Yeah, I felt a lot of energy coming, going from also from you there to here and everywhere. It was really, really amazing. And I've never experienced such a, such a thing. So thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I felt a bit tingly in my hands as well. And, uh, my heart, yeah, everything was uh, opening up. So very, very beautiful exercise. Thank you. Wonderful. It's a pleasure. Yeah, you guys will feel it for um, a few hours. Some of you will go into clearing into tomorrow. Just be aware that if you get like triggered more easily or if you feel like you're a bit tired um, or old things come up to resurface, it's very normal. This is like psychic and energetic surgery. So it can take a little bit um, for things to rebalance. So don't worry, um, you know, if you're feeling a little bit spaced out or whatnot, um, it'll ground and it will anchor in, yeah. Wow, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. And thank you for your time and sharing, uh, sharing this moment with us. Uh, and uh, yeah, very thankful and grateful. Yeah, I wish you a lovely day and also to all the thank people. You. Thank you so much for having me.
Thank you. I'm very grateful. This was beautiful. I would love to get more involved also, yeah, in just the masculine community as well, because it is, um, you know, people that I work with and I have been seeing such a beautiful increase. So thank you for your work. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for everyone who tuned in today. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Lots of Bye. Bye.